Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to explore the fascinating concept known as the tragedy of the commons. Now I know it might sound a bit ominous, but trust me, understanding this concept is crucial for navigating some of the biggest challenges we face in our world today. With that said, let's get into it. So what exactly is the tragedy of the commons? Well, let's start with the most common illustration used to explain this concept in economics. Cows. Picture this, a lush pasture, open and free to use for all. Each herder can freely graze as many animals as they desire on this communal land. Now, at first glance, this seems like a win-win situation, right? But here's where things start to take a turn. As more herders begin to bring their animals, the pasture becomes overgrazed. The once abundant grass begins to diminish, unable to support increasing demand. Eventually, the pasture becomes barren and the shared resource is depleted and nobody gets to use it anymore. This, my friends, is the tragedy of the commons in action. Now let's delve into a real life example, overfishing. Imagine a vast ocean brimming with fish. Fishermen are granted unrestricted access to these waters, allowing them to catch as many fish as they desire. Now each individual fisherman is motivated to maximize their catch to bolster and improve their profits. That makes sense. They want to make as much money as possible. However, when every fisherman operates under this mindset, the fish population will dwindle rapidly, jeopardizing the sustainability of the entire ecosystem. Eventually, they'll fish to the point where they can't fish any longer and everybody loses in the end. Now let's shift our focus to another real life example, air pollution. We all rely on clean air for our health and well-being. However, when industries and individuals release pollutants into the atmosphere without restraint, the air quality deteriorates, posing serious risks to human health and environment alike. Another great example that we see all the time is deforestation. Think of vast expanses of lush forests teeming with biodiversity. However, when logging companies prioritize short-term profits over long-term sustainability, they engage in rampant deforestation, again, to make short-term profits, and they decimate precious ecosystems, harming the overall health of everything on the planet. Again, it's not really worth it. So now that you know what it is, how do we mitigate the tragedy of the commons? How do we fix this? Well, there's no one size fits all solution, but there's a couple of strategies we can employ. One effective approach is sustainable management. So by implementing regulations and quotas and protected areas, we can ensure that the shared resources are utilized in a manner that preserves the integrity for future generations. In other words, don't tempt people with the prospect of unlimited profits or other short-term upside with the risk of doing more harm than good in the long run. Regulation is good in moderation. Another crucial strategy involves collective action. When communities band together and collaborate, they can devise new innovative solutions we haven't thought of before for resource management challenges, and they can foster resilience and sustainability. We can all either complain about the negative externalities we're faced with as a byproduct of the tragedy of commons, or we can actually rally together to make real change. And I'd like to believe that the choice between those two is obvious. Now it's imperative to recognize that the tragedy of the commons isn't a theoretical concept. It's a tangible phenomenon with real world implications. We see it every day, we just don't think about it. By acknowledging its existence and taking proactive steps to address it, we can pave the way for a more equitable and sustainable future. As usual, if you found this video insightful or helpful, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, letting us know in the comments section what sort of economic topics or homework questions you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll catch you in the next. Thank you.